Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitale. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm going to show you one of my latest favorite snacks. They're kale chips. Now, kale chips are pretty much like the newest, coolest thing to buy and eat. They sell, they're very expensive if you buy them at the grocery store. They're like seven or eight dollars per bag and you can make them at home for so much less than that. You can customize them to however you like them with spices and stuff like that. I like to make these just with plain olive oil, salt and pepper and snack on them like when I'm watching a movie or something like that. The ingredients for them are literally going to be some kale, extra virgin olive oil and salt and pepper. Now I already have my kale washed, dried and prepped but I'm going to show you how you can do that. Make sure that it's nice washed. When it's washed that you dry it really well. You don't want any extra water. And then just to prep it, kind of peel it right off of the stalk because this is way too tough. You don't want to eat that. And then just tear it into pieces. About an inch and a half or so. Now to get this started you want to get your oven preheated to 350 and you want to make sure that your kale is in one single layer. Now before I get any questions you cannot use spinach for this. No other greens will really work. Uh, there's too much moisture in them, but kale works beautifully. So now I'm going to just drizzle this with some extra virgin olive oil and give it all a nice toss. And I'm not salting it yet because salt draws moisture and I want these to get as crispy as possible. So I'm going to salt them when they come out. Just give it a rough toss like that. And these are going to go into your preheated oven for about 20 minutes and you want to make sure you toss them around halfway through. My kale chips baked for about 20 minutes or so and make sure you kind of toss them around halfway through to make sure that they're all evenly getting nice and crispy. And then I like to top them, well not top them, but sprinkle all over some kosher salt only because the granules are bigger and I personally like that but you can do whatever you like. You can also add some spices to this, it's up to you. I just like them plain with salt and pepper and they're so crispy, you can hear it. It's a great snack, nice healthy snack. If you're like a chip lover or so you need something crunchy to snack on while you're watching TV, these are the perfect thing and you won't feel an ounce of guilt eating them. That's it. To get this recipe and others, you know where to go. www.laurainthekitchen.com. Mm. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.